He said esteem others higher than yourself. Basing. The riches increase not for you to just have $20,000 outfits on. Last year, I talked about a video of a preacher that was defrauding the people. They was like, well, they had an interview with him. He was a preacher that was interviewing him. They was like, um, we saw you went on a business trip. And they was like, uh, we see you spent 20000 here. He's like, yeah, when I go places, I, I got to make sure I have a, a good outfit. She was like, Gucci? Louis Vuitton? She was naming all the purchases he had made. He was like, yeah, I'd like to look good. And uh, wow, $20,000 on the outfit for a business meeting. Then they had a house. It was like, uh, what is this house for? I mean, oh, it's for entertaining my guest. You understand? Come on, people. I don't think God appreciated it at all. For you to have a $40,000 outfit on and your congregation need $40,000. One person in your congregation need $40,000 to pay off his house note. How about you to help him first? He said, esteem others higher than yourself. So all the funds you increase with are not for you to just look all fancy and high and mighty people. Y'all better read your word. That's where pride comes into play. He giving you an increase to help people. And once your heart is made right, he be like, this person's gonna do right with my funds. He's gonna help my people. And guess what? The people that get so high up, he gonna let them keep straying away. He said, in the last days, I would let them get over the seducing spirits. These people will have a form of godliness, but denying the one of the other. How did they deny them? By their works. You would know them by their fruits. You're gonna tell if they are real Christian and a real follower of Christ because the deceitfulness of riches choke up the word, makes it unfruitful. Now they're just talking about prosperity, preacher. How to get rich. They start forgetting how to get rich in heaven. He said, every good gift and perfect gifts come from above, from the Father of lights. You understand? He also said, be content with things that you such have. So if your mind is set on being super rich, you're not content. You're going against the word. Do the math, people. Read your Bible. Study to show yourself approved. God is not giving you an increase for you to be puffed up with a big head. You know what happened to Satan? God gave him the gift to be over the angels. A good singing voice. And all these things. And he just started getting puffed up with pride and high and mighty and Try to excel himself above God. Wanted to be God. Behold. I say you are God. But you will. Die like men. He's trying to tell you. Don't do that. Do not put yourself up there like Satan. Because behold. I beheld Satan fall like lightning. Why did he fall? Because his status increased. And he got the big head. Through the mouth. Don't let your st status lead you to hell. Because it's not about you, old man. It's not about that fancy car and them jets and stuff like that. It's about helping people, helping God's kingdom. Jesus said, if you desire to be great in the kingdom of heaven, you must be least down here. Read the word. Read the word. You have to know it. To understand it. Stop letting them preachers tell you. God give you everything you ask for. And leave it at that. Because I'm not going to tell you that. I'm going to tell you more to it. Than just asking. Like I said this is not a genie in a lamp. You don't got a lamp that you rub. Hey Jesus. Can I get that new Playstation 5? Nope. <laughs> Does it work that way? Am I saying you can't get a PlayStation 5? He said, seek first the kingdom of heaven and all else. People think God is a lamp. They have three cars. Lord Jesus, I really want this bigger car. People are not content. Covetous. They're not willing to help others. They won't increase riches. But they ain't willing to help nobody. How are you helping God's kingdom if you're so stuck up on yourself? I had to learn this the hard way. I had to fall a few times to get that pride out of me. You understand? 
Listen to the word of God. God wants to increase his kingdom. If that involves increasing you, it still involves his kingdom. You got to think about it. If he's increasing you, he's increasing him. Because he wants you to glorify him, not yourself. Don't be like Satan. Don't be so high-minded. It's going to lead to your fall. Because God does wants to bless you financially for his kingdom. Let's keep that in mind. Know the truth. Seek the truth. Learn the truth. I'm glad God has given me the gift to understand the word and spread it. But he has a gift for you too. He has something for you to do for him. Step into the harvest. Step into your purpose. And everything you need according to God's kingdom will be added unto you. Have a blessed day. Dang.